What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts from The New Boston and in this video series I am going to teach you guys how to use Flask. But first of all, WTF is Flask? Well Flask is a web framework for Python. So in case you guys didn't know, you can actually use Python to make websites. So that's what we're going to be learning in this tutorial. So make sure that you have a firm background knowledge of Python. You don't need to be an expert by any means, but have some background in Python or else the rest of this probably isn't going to make sense. And I was actually thinking about just making an entire video at the beginning, going over all of the features and explaining why Flask is awesome. But then I was like, might as well just hop right into it, showing you guys a bunch of examples and then, you know, it's going to become apparent why it's so useful and handy. So that's what we're going to be doing. And of course, to use Flask, we need to install it on our computer. So make sure that you have Python installed on your computer, of course. And if you're using pip, then you can just write pip install flask. I won't write it. I just said it. So pip install flask. Or if you're using a JetBrains IDE, probably PyCharm, and you go to file settings from your project interpreter, you can go ahead and click this button. I already have it installed right here. But if you click this button, then you can install flask just search for it and hit install but i already have it installed basically install it just like you do any other package um you know if you're using python i'm sure you've done a hundred times before but there you go and the very first line of code we actually need to import it so from flask imports flask all right so let me give myself some lines Mm -mm -mm, those lines are looking good all right so the first line of actual code that we have to write after the import is app equals flask and this app is pretty much your flask object but inside here what we're going to do is we're going to pass in name so a lot of people get confused about why we're passing this in and we actually just pass it in to help out flask and again think of this now as just our main app our main entire website so whenever we pass in name, what we do is we actually help it determine the root path. Because later on, remember, we're going to be adding images, we're going to be adding CSS to our web pages, and whenever we help Flask determine the root path, it helps it find the other files a whole lot easier. So just throw it in there and you're going to be good to go. Now, what we're going to do after this, and you're going to be seeing this a lot, and I'm just going to give you guys a real quick overview of what's going on right now, but basically, Whenever we have a website, we're going to have a bunch of pages. We're going to have the home page. We might have a profile section. We might have an about section. All of those different pages, what we're going to do is we're going to actually connect them to a Python function. Now, this is called routing or mapping. It's a weird terminology, but let me give you guys a real quick overview and I'll show you guys what's going on. So for at app, and I'll explain what this means in the next tutorial, what we want to do is we just want to connect a web page. So inside these little um, single quotes right here, we're just going to write forward slash. Now forward slash is just the root directory. So this is, in other words, the home page of your website. What if we wanted to do something with the profile page? Well, then it would be like this. What if we wanted to do something with like the user about page? Well, then it would be like that. So remember, right, app or out in the argument right here is whatever web page you want to connect. So under here, just write define index, and the common convention is to name this function whatever your web page is. And since it's the root home page, it doesn't really have you know a set name. So if it was like about, then this function under it would be about. But since this is just the home page, we can just name it index. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to return something. So I'm just going to return something like this is the home page. All right. So before we go on any further, let's figure out what the heck happened. This process right here is called routing or mapping. It's basically tying a URL on your website to a Python function. What the heck does that do? Well, what you need to do whenever you deliver a web page is you need a return statement. So this means whenever the user goes to your homepage, it's going to return this. In other words, 
this is what they're gonna see. Now, eventually it's gonna be like cool HTML, or if you're making some API, we might send some JSON code. But for this simple example, whenever we launch our web server and they go to the homepage, it's just gonna say, this is the homepage right on their screen. Easy peasy. Now we actually need two more lines of codes just to kick off our server and make sure that our website actually runs whenever we run the script. And that is this, if underscore name, and we're just gonna make sure that this is equal to dunder main, double underscore main, double underscore. And we're gonna write app run. By the way, when I say underscore name, I really mean dunder name. Um, if you guys can't see, there are actually two underscores right there. But then we're gonna go app run, and I'm just gonna write debug true since we're in kind of developer mode. And what we're doing right here, well, I'll give you guys an example of this. All this does is it says start this app, start this web server, and we need to kick off this file on our server. And right now we're just developing it on our own local computer, but eventually it's gonna kick off some web server, and then your website's gonna start running. Start delivering all these pages, tomato, tomato. All right, so what the heck does this line of code do? Why do we need to check? Why can't we just run this straight up? Well, this line of code is a quick check to make sure that we only run the app or we only start the web server whenever this file is called directly. Well, wouldn't we always be doing that? Well, sometimes people have it where they actually can use this directly by calling it just by right clicking and running it or they import it into another file. So maybe we made another file and we we're importing this into like our a bigger program. Well, this says, no, no, no. Only run your app if this script is run directly. In other words, like it's your main file. So that's what we're gonna do. And now, check it out. We are good to go. I'm gonna help, go ahead and right click and run this. And we're gonna get a little indicator, pretty much says that it is running. So how do we look at it? Well, what we need to do is if you go to 127.0.0.1 or localhost and you go to port 5000, just go ahead and refresh that and it's gonna say this is the home page. Now, I'll show you guys what happens whenever you don't have it running. So I'm gonna stop this script. So right now we have this file, but it's not actually running. And if I were to go to it now, it says this web page is not available. So that's another cool thing about Flask. Everything is nice and built in. So that's how we're gonna be testing our web pages from here on out. We're gonna be writing some code and then we boot it off. And then we go to 127.0.0.1 port 5000. And there we go. So, all right, simple enough, looking good. I mean, we understand the basics of this already, but there are a few other things that we need to cover. Like why do we have a decorator right here? I'm not really familiar with those. And I don't know, how do we get more web pages? How do we um, add CSS and images and all that good stuff? Well, we're gonna be covering that, but for now I'm actually cooking <laughs> a lasagna and if I don't take it out right now, it might burn. So I'm gonna go do that. You guys play around with this and I'll see you guys in the next video.